Hi everyone. My name is Nicola. I am Simply a Stitcher. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, it's great to have you. And if you are returning, thank you for coming and spending some more time with me today. So today I'm going to do a stitch with me and I am working on the beautiful Envy. Artwork is by Marta Dalig and this is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And it's stitched full cross, uh, one over one, on some 25 count Lugana. You stitch with me today, we'll have some chat. I'm working in these park threads. Um, and we're going to see how far we can get. We've got about an hour and a half. And I have lots and lots of your lovely comments. I've done 225 stitches thus far. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how far we get. So, yeah, hope everybody's doing well. It's a bit milder today. I think Storm Bert is leaving us. Um, it's certainly, I got up this morning, I was certainly not as cold as I have been, um, which is always a positive. And I think... It's Monday morning as I film this. When I was filming, I do my live stream last night. We could hear the wind and stuff blowing around outside and stuff. It doesn't certainly doesn't seem to be as windy this morning, which can only be a good thing. But yeah, I hope everybody is doing well, staying safe, staying warm. Um, so yeah. I have uh, had, you know, a fairly good stitch a week. You'll see, or you will have seen uh, in my floss tube. And, yeah, I just sort of seem to be proper into my stitching right now, you know. Andy calls me addicted. But hey, there are worse things to be addicted to, right? It's like I said to him, I don't drink, I don't smoke. The bin goes out more than I do. So... Yeah, I've got my cross stitching. You know, it's my creativity. I'm off work this week. Uh, I've got a few things that are stacked up. Again, for those of you that will have tuned in on my live stream or maybe even heard from a floss tube, my stepdad's in hospital, unfortunately. He's not well. Um, I've also got Christmas shopping planned this week. Um, and I've got a dental appointment. Uh, where else am I, am I doing? Just sort of catching up on the bits that, you know, I'm, 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 I struggle to do during a working week, but I've got a week and two days off. So uh, I'm due to go back into work on something like the 3rd of December, Wednesday. Might be the third, might be the fourth, I can't remember. So, yeah. But nice to have a little time off, recharge and all the rest of it because work has been a little bit difficult lately and been quite stressful. I had a long chat with my manager the last time I saw her. And, you know, I, I, we were talking and I said, you know, I think I just, I need a new direction. Um, I love what I do. I've got a loyalty to my team and the manager, the person who heads up the department. I'm, I'm, I'm a very loyal sort of member of the workforce. I don't want to leave, move to another department. But, you know, if, If I don't get a new direction, that might be what happens. But the good thing is, is that I work for a multinational organisation. I can make a sideways move. I don't have to leave the company, which is absolutely not where I want to do. I do not want to leave the company. I mean, I, I, I keep saying if I could make money out of my stitching and do this 24 7 and make a living out of it i'd be very happy but i can't it's just not possible 
Uh, my flush tube would have to be 10 times bigger than it is now. I'd have to get 10 times the views and 10 times the engagement and then some. Um, I, I do find myself very, you know, I think I'm, I'm very lucky. Um, because, you know, I work from home. I have a good amount of stitchy time. And, you know, do I really want to change that? No, I don't. Sorry, I seem to be getting a message, but I can't see where it is. Hmm. It seems to be Lauren. I'm going to pause the video briefly, just catch this message because it looks like a text and I'll be back. Okay, so she was just giving me her shopping list. <sighs> you know, when you, you, your kid messages and you think it's urgent. Never mind. Okay, right. So, as I said, I've got some comments uh, that I want to share. Uh, as ever, if you guys take the time to comment, I think it's only right that I take the time to answer you. And these Stitch With Me's are an ideal opportunity to do that. So, I start with comments on my ASMR floss tube number 30 which had Nadia Strokina's Sailing Fairy as the subject, and Enid leaves me a wave. And uh, Kelly from Kelly's Quilts and Cruises says, Hi, Nicola, this project is pretty. Yeah, very pretty. I do love it. It's confetti heavy, but it's a lovely project. So... Okay, and Kay, Sussex Stitcher, uh, comments again on the Selling Fairy and says, wow, she's looking wonderful. She certainly is. I do uh, I do enjoy working on Selling Sailing Fairy. She'll be out this week. Um, not going to stitch with me, though, I don't think. It's just out for rotation stitches. The last part of them. Right, let me just double check. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Envy, Stitching Shelf, Lord of, Oh, no, she'll be out on Sunday, Sunday Stitch. She is my Sunday Stitch this week. Woohoo. We don't mind that. A little Sunday Stitch of the old Sailing Fairy. Okay. Uh, Jen from Jen's World of Stitches comments on my uh, frame and excess fabric video and says thank you I have the same stand uh, but my issue is that my nerge acts like it would come out of the clamp uh, mine did too which is why I, and I replied to her mine did which is why I only put one layer of fabric in the clamp I found that the more fabric within the clamp jaw the more likely the nerge is to pop out and I can actually show this on this video because I'm using my large nerge and here over this side is my clamp. So this here, I, the nerge edges here, I folded the fabric back over that way. 
So it's a single layer of fabric. And then the other fabric is folded over the clamp. So there's only a very thin amount. All this sort of bulk of excess fabric is not sat in the clamp. So, okay. And then I did a lot of the ring stained glass stitch with me at the chat. Number 30. Uh, Hi, Hannah. You have friends with us, says Sharon. You're such a sweet girl. Uh, I should say young lady, but I am a mum. I just love your sense of humour and the pride you take in yourself when getting ready for work. Uh, don't change. Great numbers of stitches, Nicholas. Sometimes mindless stitches help. Yep. Absolutely. But yeah, Hannah, you're absolutely right there, Sharon. She takes a huge amount of pride in herself. Uh, I have to uh, look at her appearance. Uh, you know, she likes me to tell her that her outfit's nice or whatever. Um, and yeah, she, she, she does enjoy going to work, gives a sense of routine. Um, but yeah, she's, she's really does enjoy it. But this week she's off and of course, granddad's ended up in hospital, sod's law. Um, so she's actually on dog sitting duties now until he's home. Okay, Jane comments on my Nadia Strokina and says, love the colours, coming out nicely. Certainly is. Oh, I didn't mark a park on this one. Oh, excuse me. I was up early this morning. I was awake before five. Again, sod's law, I'm not at work. Kelly uh, on flush tube number 45 says, Hi, Hello, Nicola. I always enjoy your chatty flush tube updates. You're doing a superb job with your weight loss, and I'm positive that you will make your weight loss goal. Uh, she sleeps will be fine, whatever you manage to do. Uh, any stitches are just gravy now. You have the majority of the piece done. Yeah, I'm hoping to hit 70% on She Sleeps this week. Um, I've had some good stitchy days with her lately. Uh, even though I've had a model, I've still managed to get in lots of good stitching. That makes me happy. Um, and you guys know that stitch until the cows come home. Um, but yeah, it, she sleep, uh, she sleeps. I just love how she's she's doing, really do. But yeah, at the minute it's looking for an October finish at a hundred and fifty odd stitches a day. Um. What have I done here? Why haven't I done those stitches? Uh, but I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that, because I'm, obviously I'm getting plenty of extra stitching in on her, that she sleeps will be done in around March or April. Sooner if I can. At, at the rate I'm going, I'm going to be more like 80% by the year end, which will be amazing. I knew, I always knew that I wasn't going to get finished. But yeah, to get to 80% would be phenomenal. Do 
don't know why I'd marked off stitches and not actually stitched them. And there we go. Um, so I did in my... Let's start that again. I had a really, really lovely comment. So um, you guys know that obviously I have a stack of Gecko Rouge kits and I've unboxed many of them on camera. There will be another one coming because um, I won Gecko Rouge Gold Club voucher this month. So I got a £50 prize. And back on the London Cityscape one, the orange one, the Sophie Kilpatrick one, Sophie actually comes on to that video and comments saying, thank you for sharing. I hope you enjoy it. And oh, I'm sure I will. I definitely will. It, it's, I'm looking forward to starting every single one of my pieces next year. Um, the numbers are going up and up because I think I might end up with 25 in 25. Because at the moment I've got 23. I was sent an RAK for another pattern. And then Andy's talking about a Gecko Rouge kit and use my voucher to make up um, because obviously the one that I want is a little bit more than he was thinking of spending. So using my gift card, gift card and stuff and getting me a Gecko Rouge kit for Christmas. I said I wanted some winter boots, but you know. Feeling that the kit might win out, or rather Andy might win out. Okay, um, flush tube number 45, Jane comments and says, um, all your work looks better than good. Um, well done with the continued weight loss. Thank you very much, Jane. Uh, I envy you, mine is not going so well. Uh, oh, well, my stitching is, how do I join your stitching group? I look forward to your next video. So the link to my stitching group is in any one of my floss tubes if you've not already joined there, Jane. I can't remember if you have or you haven't. Um, just a couple of questions, just mainly to screen out, making sure we're not getting any fake profiles in there. And do join in because we have lots of stuff that goes on in there. We have a bit of a laugh. We have um, a twice weekly floss tube whip thread where I invite you guys to share your work in progresses for me to show on my live stream. Um, and, you know, we try and have a bit of fun and enable one another and we ask questions of one another. And it's a real nice community. And I do very much enjoy uh, the group. It's one of the things that I'm glad I did. And Linda, Linda Love to Stitch on Floss Tube 45 says you've made great progress. Progress. I can't speak on your lovely whips. Yeah, I do like, to do like a bit of progress. And then Cilia, lovely Cilia, that leaves me hearts and some stitchy goodies. And I hope you're well, Cilia, and you've had having safe travels. And I'm staying safe while ever you are in Iceland. Um, because obviously we've noted there about the uh, volcano and so on. It's It's been been on my mind. Just hope, we, hope you're staying safe. So then Laurie also comments on Frost Tube 45. <clears throat> I love the progress updates. She sleeps is so beautiful. She certainly is. Uh, the rows will start getting smaller now that you are near the middle. 
they already are. I seem to be moving my hoop a lot more frequently these days. Uh, I'm definitely past the halfway mark. So, yeah. And now, Natalia, Mermaid's Cove, at least me some hearts on my Nadia Stokina video. Thank you, Natalia. No, don't want to do that. I'm going to do it the other way. You know, even if uh, you're just leaving an emoji as a comment, it all counts as engagement. So, you know, I thank you for that. Um, and the more likes and comments that I get, even if it's just an emoji, it helps YouTube recommend my content to other users. So thank you, Natalia. Uh, who vid this says, I love watching your updates and I love your pieces too. Thank you very much, Lee. Just wait until next year. I'm getting a whole heap of new ones. I can't wait. I just can't wait. I mean, I don't want to wish my life away. Don't get me wrong. We've got five weeks until the end of the year. Uh, and the first Monday, which I will be doing a pick a wheel for the first project, is Monday the 6th of January. Although what I might do is do it on the last floss tube of the year. And then on the first stitch with me that I film, uh, I'll be able of the year and I'll be able to put the new project on. I also have plans for a whip parade as well, which Andy will, of course, be my able assistant. I think he enjoys doing my whip parades with me. Even he sees, you know, the progress that I've made. And, uh, you know, we, we were talking in the live stream about goals for next year. And me and uh, Sharon, who's one of my other, uh, one of my uh, lovely live stream, co live stream and channel contributors, has set a lofty goal of 500,000 stitches, which is 1,369 per day on average. So we're going to have a bash at that. I might be crazy, but, you know. This year, I am on track to manage 365,000 stitches by mid-December. 365,000 stitches is my annual goal. If I didn't stitch for, for 10 days, I would still meet that. So, because at the minute, I'm working an average of 1,032 stitches per day. I love Stitch Pal. It's a great app. And... Uh, it gives you all kinds of statistics. And the good thing is, is it can calculate for you the, when you are likely to finish a project at your current rate, which I love. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Luella says, I really love seeing your, I really enjoy seeing your amazing stitching. Uh, all the best on your weight loss goals. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Luella. Uh, Crow Stitcher says, beautiful progress. Thank you kindly. 
Um, that was again on Floss Tube 45. Now, I'm very naughty. I haven't numbered my live streams lately. That's part of my channel tidy this week that I'm doing. Again, it's one of those things. Uh, uh, Kashi says, thank you again for a lovely, another lovely stream, Nicola and fam. No worries at all, Kashi. Those live streams are becoming like bread and butter now. I love doing them. Absolutely love them. And it's so nice that I get, you know, 50 and 60 people per stream. You know, I don't get me wrong. I'm not at sort of dizzy in heights of how, you know, some people have on their streams. But hey, I'm getting there. And it's just a nice number of people. And I th I don't think there's a single person amongst those that watch that doesn't enjoy seeing what everybody else is working on. And certainly, you know, when I get the pictures off the thread for the, from the group, some amazing stuff. Uh, Kelly says uh, on again uh, on a Wednesday live stream. Uh, I'm just watching the replay a bit. I was out running errands this morning and got home too late for the live. No worries, Kelly. I know it's sort of late morning when I. Uh, uh, live well it's the evening here but late morning for you uh, but yeah the replay is always there always available and uh, you know nice to nice to have on in the background I suspect okay um Flossu45, uh, Jane Murray says, great job. Hannah, feel better and stop wasting away to nothing. Uh, Hannah's doing a lot better now. Um, her abscess is gone and she's, she's, I tell you what, that kid is so flight. She's very slender, but boy, can she eat when she wants to. Um, you know, she, she plays catch up quite happily. You know, this is a kid that can sit and eat a box of 20 chicken nuggets all to herself and the fries and the drink. And then half an hour later, she's coming downstairs looking for a snack. But then other days, she doesn't eat until tea time and then she's like a little bird. I don't know. Kids, eh? Who would have them? Uh, Kashi says, uh, again, on Flush 245, I love your updates and I'm amazed uh, by your weight loss. Simply amazing. Thank you, Kashi. It's gone a bit slowly just lately. I didn't go to group last week. I had a lot of things going on and I just could not cope mentally with hearing I've either not lost any weight or I'd stayed the same. So I opted to do the self-care option and stay at home. Um... And I don't think I know anybody that would disagree with that because self-care is very important. And I've still carried on, but I knew last week that I hadn't lost any weight. They always say they shouldn't get weighed on your own scales, but you do. And my scales said no different than what they'd said before I got weighed previous week so I was like nope I'm not going because I am not going to go to here I haven't lost anything so I stayed home I also had a, a pretty tough day with other things as well um and my mental health was at best described as fragile on that day. And I'm, I'm okay now. You know, I was fine the next day. But, you know, just sometimes you have one of those days where you don't want to do anything, you don't want to see anybody, you just, you know, can't cope with life. That's what I had.
Uh, Enid leaves me some thumbs up on my Lord of the Rings. Uh, no, Realm of Middle-earth. Stitch with me. And on my Lord of the Rings stained glass, Cashy says, uh, thank you for a lovely frost tube. Nicola and Co. Star and says, hi, Hannah. Uh, yeah, because Hannah does quite often chime in on these Stitch with me's due to her being around. So, obviously she's not today. Oh, she's at Grandad's. But I had a picture of the dog, though. The dog doesn't want to get up. Um, you know, I swear to God, that dog thinks that she's human. And uh, Laurie, again on my Lord of the Rings, uh, Realm of Middle Earth map, says, Thou shall stitch. <laughs> Indeed. So again, on live stream, a live, a live stream Sunday, uh, Natalia Mermaid's Cove uh, once again leaves me some hearts. So thank you, Natalia. Uh, and Danny leaves me some emoji faces on my last chatty stitches me with this lovely piece with envy. And Enid gives me some thumbs up. So thank you all, ladies, for the engagement. It all helps. <clears throat> Let's just have a mark off. Uh, a quick drink of the old coffee. And Kelly from Kelly's Quilts and Cruises says, Hi Nicola, Envy is looking beautiful. She certainly is. This morning when we got up, it was two degrees. The local mountains have snow. The snow line looks to be about 3,000 feet or so, but maybe 2,500. Cool, cool. Just unthreaded my needle there. And then uh, the lovely Joyce, Stitchy Dutchy. Oh, nice, she says. Envy is out. Love the greens. Uh, I had that series on and off my wish list, and a few sales ago, I bought it. Sexy floss is taking a long time to get here. Hoping to do some kitting up soon. Yes, I do plan on doing all of the sins. I have them all. And I know that you're planning at least another one, aren't you, Joyce? You've got I know you've got Avarice, which I've already done. And Cindy says, that happens to me if I stitch when I'm tired on my uh, Envy Stitch with me. So I can't remember what I did, but something must have made me tired. Um, now I have to do my little fix on this one. So, yeah, I must have done something that uh, was a daft mistake. <laughs> Wouldn't be unusual for me, but there you go. Okay. Uh, Michelle uh, says, that's the second time today I've heard about Stitch Pal. I looked it up and I'm confused. Doesn't Pattern Keeper do all that for you? Nope, he doesn't. Um, 
pattern keeper tells me how many stitches I've done that day and what percentage that I'm at, how many stitches there are done, how many are left to do. But Stitch Pal kind of enhances it because it says, you know, based on the stitch rate that you're doing, this is when you're likely to finish. Or if you want to set a date to finish, you need to do X amount of stitches per day to meet that date. Um, and I definitely prefer, I like using Stitch Pal. Uh, I also, I, I'm, I'm one of those that I don't 100% trust technology. So I also have a spreadsheet um, with my stitchy stuff on it. And I also have a notebook where I write things down um, because, you know, I don't trust technology a hundred percent. But yeah, she, she goes on to say that uh, Markup RXP gives all the stats within the app. I don't need a separate app for that. Yeah, that's the difference between the two. I've never used Markup RXP, but I have seen screenshots and it shows you, you know, much more than Pattern Keeper does. Um, but yeah, I don't mind having a, the Stitch Pal app. Uh, she says, I don't need uh, a separate app for that. Maybe it never used to. I've only had or used it since August. Then she goes on to, to say, I have three kids. They are almost 14, 11 and 8. And sometimes they are constantly interrupting. Usually when I'm really busy. Yes. <laughs> and normally at the most inconvenient moment. Mm -hmm. That's kids though, isn't it? Uh, I'm with you. I try and avoid the crowds at the shops at Christmas, Easter and other major holidays. I don't even like going into the shops in the weekend as they're too busy. Yeah. I'm I'm really one of those rare breeds of people that dislike shopping. Um, Andy, I think, always is a bit bemused by it. His ex-wife used to love shopping. Um, but I, I'm, I'm one of them people I... I like to browse if I'm in the mood for it. Um, I don't rush around the shops. I do take my time. But I'm still not like Andy, which is when he gets into the shop, he's immediately looking for the exit. <laughs> but no, I, I'm not I'm not a good shopper at all. Never have been. Um, I just, I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> I would never say, let's go shopping as a pleasurable thing to do. I would say, let's go and meet up, have a coffee. I need to nip and get a couple of bits, but that's not the focus of you know, the shopping is never the focus, if that makes sense. I'd sooner sit in a coffee shop with my stitching. Okay, and then Luella says it was nice stitching along with you on my last chatty. And I hope you're enjoying this one as well, Luella, if you're watching. And then Linda Fabrizio uh, makes a comment and actually makes quite a good point. And she's talking about uh, a couple of bits uh, that I mentioned in my last chatty. Uh, she says, oh, my tummy's gurgling. Your needles look unusually long in this video. What size needle and brand is it you're using? This is the same needle as I was using on that video. It's a ball tip needle. It's a size either 26 or 28. I can't remember. And I got it from Lakeside Needlecraft. I don't have any other information than that. Um... I am one of those people, I have a needle minder, I'll show you, with a number of needles on it and the different sizes and I'll just pick up whichever one feels right for the project. 
uh, but tend to be using more ball tip needles these days. I find that they are really nice to work with. Um, and I don't split the blocks nearly so much. I still can, but not nearly so much because the stitch at speed, um, these give me speed and accuracy. The cat's come down, having a bit of breakfast. Uh, speaking of sal, she says, I'm doing the Bella Filipina Dark Water Siren Sal, as well as the Hage Sal too. I'm going to be doing the jellyfish pattern. 48,000 stitches turns out to be 4,000 stitches a month, or 133 a day. So when you break it down like, like that, that sounds perfectly reasonable, 133 a day. Um, I, I still am not going to be doing the hate cell, but yeah, I, I can see how, you know, when you do break it down like that, 133 a day for the vast majority of people is infinitely doable. Um, so yeah, all good. I, I've noticed a few people that participated in last year's hate cell are not doing this year's. And I saw a post yesterday that said that there were about 1,600 people who are now uh, signed up for it. So that's a good number. But again, will I do 133 stitches a day on uh, something that I'm not 100% committed to? No. Because whilst I like the designs, there's nothing that stuck out to me and said, yes, pick me, pick me, stitch me, I will do that, you know. Uh, Nina, for Nina Hobby Site on my Floss Tube 45. Uh, says uh, beautiful projects and you're doing so good with the weight loss happy stitching thank you nina it's it's a long road but i am getting there and i'm getting there with these projects too so yeah i've got plans next year um obviously i've got lots of new starts and i think i'm pretty much excuse me set now but what i'll be doing is she sleeps will be a focus for finish until it's done. And then until I do a mid-year whip parade, any extra stitches will go into night cafe. Because at the moment I'm I'm up to like 2059 or something for a finish date for that. And I really, really need to bring that down some. I've got 2040 for my um, Josephine Wall. And those dates are only going to get longer with the more new starts that I'm bringing on. So 2025, yes, I'm going to have a lot of new starts, but 2026, I think I shall have none. <laughs> and definitely try and get some finishing done in 2026. Okay. Let's just do a wee mark off. Okay, Cindy says hello from New York and she could hear me in the live stream and Luella says, hi Nicola, hope you and everyone 
is having a good day. And then again on live stream for Sunday, Michelle, Michelle Clark says, I vaguely remember we had Guy Fawkes night when I was a kid. But too many idiots got injured, etc. And now you need a special permit to set off fireworks. There's still idiots that buy them illegally and set them off, but usually it's only for a short time and a few nights a year. And they do stop before the police come investigating. There's usually plenty of official fireworks displays at the major holidays and major local events throughout the year, so thankfully we don't get too many idiots. I'm going to assume it's unconventional cross-stitch because here in Australia, when we use the word, write the word Christmas, we shorten it to Xmas, but always say Christmas. You know what, I think I might go with that. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Sorry, I've got Hannah messaging me now. <laughs> if it's not one, it's the other, isn't it? Okay. Speaking of unconventional cross stitch, I still haven't bought those charts. I might do that in a few minutes. And the lovely Sandy, my lovely friend, on uh, my last chatty, stitch with me with this piece. Comments to say, lovely stitch with me as always. It's so nice to stitch along with you. We are the same here at Christmas. Turkey Crown with all the trimmings and Boxing Day. Cold meat with bubbling squeak. And pickles. Hope Hannah is now fully recovered and back to normal eating. Um, bless her. Hope everyone is well. And thanks for sharing. Take care. Happy stitching. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, Kashi on a uh, live stream says, lovely rewatch, beautiful whips from all the peeps. Oh, for sure. And I know that you've finished one, haven't you, Kashi? Um, which I neglected to show in Sunday's stream this week, but hopefully I have shown it in Wednesdays. <laughs> Sandy in Floss Tube 46 says, wonderful amount of stitching. You're right, it's so cold. Yep, certainly it has been. Uh, and you will feel the difference. I certainly do. Glad you aren't too disappointed to stay in the same weight. As you say, it's not a gain. I hope Hannah's well over her teeth problems. Thanks for sharing. Take care. Happy stitching. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah. Um, feeling the cold I think is now going to be part of my lexicon and I will be saying it forevermore I'm cold, winter and summer I'm one of those people that can go to the Mediterranean and be wearing cardigan Then again, I end up like a lobster as well. Because I don't tan. It's got bright red and peel. I can get sunburnt on a winter's day, me. That was a standing joke. You get sunburnt in winter. There'd be snow on the ground, but there's me hiding from the sun. <laughs> Uh, Enid says, uh, um, Flush you 46, it's stupid windy here. Oh, uh, I'm 30, 38 Fahrenheit and I'm even a bit cold myself. Wind chill is 23 Fahrenheit. Yuck. Oh, excuse me. 
I know it's not much improved either, has it, Enid? I don't know when you came into live stream on uh, Sunday. It's very cold for you, and we had a lot of wind and wind chill. Uh, Sonia says it's ten Celsius here. Love our live stream stitch time. Many like uh, many nice people. Yep, those live streams are just the best. Um, and then Judy, Judy Stone, after, in Floss Two Forty <coughs> Forty Six, I've done nine thousand nine hundred stitches during that week. And Judy says, astounding amount of stitches this week. Holy cow. And your percentages really jumps. Congrats. Those greens in the dress are so pretty. I've been MIA on your live videos, but hopefully tomorrow I can join in. My doctor told me that if I get stuck at a certain stubborn, stubborn weight, just eat an apple or two each day. It kickstarts your body to start losing again. I hope it works for you. It works for me, so I hope it will for you. Happy stitching. Thanks, Judy. I might give that a try. Got to go to the supermarket later so I can buy some nice apples. But I like soft apples. You know, I don't like crunchy ones. Well, my teeth can't stand it anyway. Like Golden Delicious or anything like that. I like a soft apple, like a Pink Ladies or Red Delicious or something. So I might try an apple. I eat a lot of oranges, so it might be worth me changing up my fruit. So some apples might be just the ticket. Uh, awesome amount of stitching, says Lynn. Can you turn on heaters? Yes, uh, I've got an extra heater on. Uh, we've got our central heating in the house. Um, but also I've got an oil-fired, uh, an oil heater. Um, the thing is with our house, it's a single skin. So it's not insulated very well. So it doesn't retain heat terribly well and it often feels cold um but having the oil oil heater has helped enormously just a little plug-in one it normally lives in my conservatory but it graduated to the lounge last week and it's been here ever since keeping me warm uh she says i've lost 20 223 pounds congratulations lynn uh, and I too feel cold all the time and bony now on my bum. Yeah, I hear you on the bony bum thing. It's it's not easy to get comfortable, whether you're in a car or um, uh, on a on a seat, hard seat. It's just so difficult to get comfortable. Uh, work office chairs are horrific at work. The more comfortable than your average office chair, they're those ergonomic style. They've got a bigger seat. They've got arms. But, oh my goodness, for me bum, they're not very good. Because I can feel every bone. Getting in the bath, you'll know that. Getting in the bath. Um, it It feels awful when you get in the bath because... Everything just, you can feel every bump. Well, you can feel the, the bottom of the bath and it's really horrible. Okay. Uh, Joyce Stitchy Dutchy comments and says, I like how your map of Middle Earth looks. I've got the Hade one about 24% done. Uh, I call it the big brown blob. It's so drab, but I plan to put it in my rotation again. Maybe your 1K stitches will work for me too well my rotation method has worked for Sharon although she's slightly different uh, what she tends to do is five days per piece but me I'm a thousand stitches and move um, it stops me from getting bored because I can get very easily very bored and you know it, it, sometimes it is hard to turn myself away from a piece when I really just want to stitch on it and getting some more good progress but I make myself because I know that 
I'll look forward to stitching it again next time it pops up. I mean, next year when I've got all these new pieces, it's going to be so long before I see some of them again. I don't know. Oh, Hannah, you are a pain in my backside. She's still sending me messages. She knows that I'm filming a video. That's right. <sighs> okay. Uh, Kashi says, wow, that's some serious stitching. Angel is gorgeous. Angel is a pain in the backside. <laughs> She's... Um, Yeah, we, we might see her again this week. I don't know. On my flush tube. She kind of comes down and has a nosy when I'm filming. She can hear me talking. And obviously she knows that her butler is not in. So who am I talking to? <sighs> She's a little ball of floof. Like a little cloud. Holy Stitch Count says Laurie, if I get younger, I want to stitch like you. <laughs> Lol, keep warm. Thank you. Uh, now, Andrea Verishert, typical English language, she says, such elegant hands. You crossed it so much, I think you are 60 to 70 years young. So many big projects. Now, I'm not quite that old. I'm, uh, I'm almost 50. I'll be 50 next month. Uh, well, I say next month in January. So, yeah, not quite um, 60 to 70. I must look older than I am. <laughs> Looking older than you are is always an advantage when you're young. Not quite so much of an advantage at my age. Thank you there for your comments, uh, Andrea. Uh, Ashley comes in and says, absolutely smashing it out of the park again. Uh, I have to say, I'm so impressed by you. Inspiring. See you on Wednesday's stream. Thank you, Ashley. And Lynn Cordova says, speedy stitching alert. <laughs> Definitely. Hashtag, I stitch quick. Come on. And then another new subscriber, uh, Marion, Li Marion Ilim. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm from Indonesia. Nice stitching. Thank you very much. Uh, I do believe that you may be the first person who watches me from Indonesia, so welcome. Although I could be wrong. But you're certainly the first commenter who said I'm from Indonesia. That's fantastic. Definitely worldwide. So USA, Canada, Australia, Portugal, Denmark, Norway. Uh, where else? Italy. Uh, and now New Zealand. And now Indonesia. So thanks so much. Thank you for coming and sharing my stitchy journey. Uh, Monique um, went back and watched an older video of mine 
uh, which is the one where I was doing a stitching shelf for Amy Stewart. Just randomly chose one of your older videos and so lovely to hear how you and Andy met. I have kind of a similar story and the photos of your wedding are so nice. I'm very happy for you to have met your soulmate. I'm following you for like four weeks now and I love stitching with you with videos in the background. Thank you very much, Monique. It's lovely to have you on board. And um, yeah, it, it, me and Andy, have we've been together, you know, 11 years. Uh, I wouldn't swap him. He does annoy me at times. He knows that, but I wouldn't swap him. And, you know, he's he's been a, a wonderful stepfather to the girls. And, you know, nobody can take that away from him. As well as, you know, helping to raise his own children too. Um, you know, me and him get on very well. But then, you know, we spar. You know, because, you know, couples do have, have uh, little spats and what have you. So we do have spar from time to time. But, you know, it's always good. It always works out in the end. Uh, Ramp Rampant Ray says, 50 shades of green were oh, uh, Mrs. <laughs> yeah, when I was talking about this one in my flash tube, I was talking about all the greens. Uh, and, you know, there are 90 colours in this, and the vast majority of them are greens. Yeah, obviously, we've got some browns and some blues and some greys and some yellows. Lots and lots of green. Mermaid's Cove, Natalia, will again leaves me some hearts on a couple of videos. And on the live stream Wednesday last week, um, we, we 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 kind of we had something fun to do so if you watch that live stream you will know that in the facebook group there was a share of uh, some christmas biscuits now andy uh, is not a custard cream fan he quite clearly stated a few weeks ago that custard cream biscuits were his nemesis but we found some Christmas biscuits uh, that were custard creams, but with different flavours. There was a gingerbread one, a mince pie one, and a chocolate mint one. So on the live stream, we took up the challenge. I managed to obtain a packet of these biscuits, and Andy did a taste test, which was super fun. He was a very good sport. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, he taste tested these biscuits and gave and you know shared his learned opinion, um, which is of course that custard creams are still the work of the devil. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it was good fun. So, uh, there, Sonia says, Andy is a hoot. And then Michelle says, nice uh, to me, you, Andy, and nice to meet you, Andy, and congratulations on being on the BBC. Uh, Andy had another radio interview this week, and he's also been featured on BBC Sounds. Um... And she says, I think mail, mail service is going to the dogs all over. Uh, in Australia, about 20 years ago, Australia Post had the best service. And now uh, the latest in technology, etc. And you can send a letter or a package from one side to the other, of the country to the other in one or two days. And even remote areas in three to four. Mike sent me a package um, to America. It got there a week later. Nowadays, it can take days to get mail within the same city and definitely across country. It's ridiculous. Yeah, postal services have definitely gone to the dogs. Uh, I think wherever you are, 
Um, there's just not as much focus on it now. And then the lovely Silver Stitches says, I could uh, live on custard creams and bourbons, but rich teas, however, ugh. yeah, he doesn't like those. So I've got a couple more comments that I'm going to leave it at there. So Nina, uh, Nina Hobby Site, you get so much stitches in on your beautiful projects. She sleeps is so beautiful. Happy stitching, stay warm. In Norway today, minus 6 or 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And my last two comments I'm going to read out are on my Sailing Fairy, my Nadia Strokina piece. Uh, where I did an ASMR style stitch with me. And Kelly from Kelly's Cru Quilts and Cruises says the ocean turquoise blues are so pretty i'd be tempted to jump ahead to the butterfly though yeah it is awfully tempting but nope i am rigidly staying in my lane on this one and uh, you know i did think about changing up the way i stitch the stitching shelf but no nope, i'm gonna stick to the way i'm stitching and then Laurie, also on the same stitch with me, says, I love the colours in this piece. Me too, Laurie. So thank you all again for a great crop of comments. It's just so nice to have them. And we will start off next week um, with uh, comments again. Um... And hopefully we'll have some more to add to them. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to move the camera in a sec. just want to place the thread so I know where to put the camera. And by my judgment, we've got about 20 minutes of stitchy time. So... What I'll do is we'll do it in peace and quiet. If I do have anything to drop in, of course, I will add it. Uh, and yeah. So thoroughly enjoying this piece. It's going ever so well. And I've done a good a good amount on this already today. I can hear somebody shouting outside. I'm not quite sure what he's saying. Sounds like he's shouting at somebody. Could be shouting at for a dog or something, I don't know. Oh, my tummy's is rumbling, so it's not going to be long, and I'm going to be needing me brekkie. You know, I've been up early. I haven't eaten yet. I, I'm not an early eater. Andy eats as soon as he's woken up, but for me, no. I just can't do that. Two cups of coffee first before I even think about eating. Um, usually on a work day, it's. Any time after nine, that I get my breakfast, but it has been known to be as late as 11. Uh, Andy thinks I'm weird. <laughs> it's just the way I am. Shouting seems to have stopped now, which is good. I'm 
pretty sure that the school will start very shortly as well. So we'll start hearing school kids passing by. The little school around the corner. Seems like ages ago since Lauren went to that school. Her school years seem to have gone in a flash. And now she's uh, already doing the mock exams. Oh. The last baby's growing up. That might sound wistful, but no, I'm not wishing for young children again. It was hard enough the first time around. <laughs> it's it's really nice though to see the girls grow and develop and you know become the young ladies that they all are. Oh, there it is. Excuse me. I seem to be yawning a lot. But then again, this, I find stitching really relaxing. You know, it's funny. I was, when I was talking to my boss uh, last week, I was saying to her, you know, I'm finding work to be a source of frustration at the moment because everybody that phones through is really grumpy. We seem to be under the proverbial cosh because, you know, workload we're behind. Um, and no matter how hard you go, no matter how hard you work, you know, it feels like, you know, almost like you're swimming in treacle. You, know, you can't get anywhere. And I said to her, you know, I, I'm fortunate because I have perhaps what a lot of people don't. I have a hobby that I can go to and I know that 10 minutes of being in my stitching and the world is okay again and immediately oh, excuse me immediately I can relax and just sort of work away at stitches and 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 feel happier but not everybody has that I'm Oh, why have I missed the stitch? I'm really lucky that I have this hobby. I've always said that, you know, if you could have a therapy on the NHS, this one would be a great one because it brings back to order routine and creativity for me order and routine in the respect of the stitches and following the pattern i'm always starting and ending my stitches in the same way i'm following the pattern faithfully usually um and the creativity of watching something come out from under my needle it's usually quite unexpected you know, especially when I'm doing projects like the stitching shelf, because very often what happens is is that there I am stitching away, and then all of a sudden, boom, something's appeared. A feature. But 
but yeah, I, I do consider myself lucky to have found stitching as a hobby. You know, and and with me working from home, I can stitch before work, I can stitch during my dinner, and I can stitch after work, and they all sort of go seamlessly, one to the other to the other. Uh, and I don't measure my work days in how many hours I've got left. I'm measuring it how many minutes before I can stitch. <laughs> and that kind of gets me through the day. You know, I have to work because I have bills to pay, like everybody. Be nice to do this full time, though. But it's never going to happen. I mean, I would love to do retreats and stuff and I'd love to have like a, a stitchy premises where I can do classes and that kind of thing. But need a lottery win. I haven't bought a ticket this week, so. My dream would, to be, would be to have somewhere that's in the countryside but not too rural like in a village with accommodation and with a stitching room and almost have it like a permanent retreat you know you can come and choose how many nights you want to be you know a couple of nights three nights a week whatever chances of that though are very slim Without a lottery win. A girl can dream, no way. What I'd do as well is that if I did ever sort of get to that, I'd have some permanent vendors, you know, permanent stands with vendor stuff on it. Mm. <sighs> I can dream. And my first dream is a bigger house with a stitchy room. <laughs> That'd be nice. I have a small corner of my sitting room and stuff hidden behind the sofa. My uh, cones of fabric in the conservatory. Although I do think I've got stitching in pretty much every room, apart from the bathroom. There's no stitching in the bathroom. Um, but you often will find thread ends in there. found thread ends in pasta before now. I found thread ends in my salad at work. I got on the tram once and looked down and I'm stuck to my cardigan was a length of thread. The thread I'd been looking for that day. I knew I'd got a piece of it cut. Thread gets everywhere.
I don't think Andy minds so much that we've got thread all over. He just minds that if we've got needles, because they always find his feet. But then again, if he will walk around the house barefoot, what does he expect? Bought him slippers, he refuses to wear them. Oh, did you hear that? Sound like an earthquake. There's my tummy. Let's just have a mark off and see where we are. See, this is how I get, I just get into a flow and just focus on it and stop talking. <laughs> Funny, me and Andy can sit here in silence. He's be tapping away on his computer doing his village idiot stuff. And I'll just be sat here throwing in stitches. He, he still says I look weird without, with stitch, without stitching in my hands. And I have to agree, I think I look weird without stitching in my hands. Even when I'm working, I've got stitching in my hands because at the minute I'm degridding avarice. Oh, my tummy is having a right old gurgle. And degrading is taking much longer than I envisioned, envisioned because the thread is often stuck under the stitches. A gridding thread. Sometimes it comes out and you get, you know, two or three inch long piece of thread and it's great. And then other times you're literally taking it out stitch by stitch, which is a pain in the butt. But still, it's looking great. I do think my snag nab is going to come in handy though. But yeah, sitting there during my work time with a pair of tweezers in my hand and scissors. Degridding away. Avis is definitely needing a wash.
I wonder if today, as it's Monday, it's a bin day. I wonder if the bin men will be putting out the Christmas collection times. We usually do around this time of year. Let's see uh, how many collections we get over the festive period. Plan how many tip runs Andy will need to do. I'm one of those people though is that I don't we don't tend to use a lot of paper and card because I just put all of the girls presents in a gift bag i don't wrap them individually because a it saves time b it saves wrapping paper c it saves bin space and d it saves money and they're old enough now to understand that they don't have to have everything wrapped up it's the same value without um you know so that they can open their bags in the morning and you know sort of take a lucky dip in there and oh i've got this oh i've got that it seems to work. I think we are always the only people on the street with any bin space left at Christmas. There we go. So I'm going to get to the end of this row and then I will have now completed 600 stitches. So that's 375 during this session. And I will end this video with my usual reminders. Three videos coming up on screen in a moment. If you've not seen those, please do go take a few minutes to have a look. My schedule as ever, Floss Tube Tuesday, Stitch With Me's Thursdays and Saturdays live streams Wednesdays and Sundays at 7.30 p.m. UK time. So if you can join me for any of those, it would be very much appreciated. But really, all that's left to do is to say thank you all very much indeed for watching. Take care, happy stitching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.